Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie and let's get started. For DIY number one, I'm going to begin with this birdhouse wood shape plaque from Walmart and this door and window from Amazon and I'll go in with some of the apple barrel paint in the color nutmeg and snow white, give them a full paint job. And now I'm going to take this scrapbooking paper from Amazon and I'll have everything linked in my storefront in my description box for you guys. And I'm just going to outline this door, cut it out. And my first thought was I, I was going to cover up the door with this, but then I kind of liked the way it looked behind the window. So here's where I'm trying to figure it out, but I finally decided just to do it behind the window. So I'm going to go in with some of the Mod Podge. This one's a satin, but it doesn't matter which one you use. And I'm just going to use it to adhere this scrapbook paper. So I place it on there and allow it to dry and then go ahead and take my finger sander to remove any excess paper. And now I'm just going to use some more of the Mod Podge to adhere it to the wood like this. And once I get that on there, then I'll take the little window and this one I'll use my glue gun to add a little bit of glue and place it on the very, very top of the house. Now I'll take some of this 3D paint. It's a fabric puffy paint called Slick by Tulip. And this one I got from Amazon, but I think Walmart does have it as well. And I'm just outlining the door. And I'll also do the very bottom edge and also the roof on both sides just to give it a little bit of dimension and seal up the sides. And now I'm taking some more of the paint and covering up the top of the roof, the front of the roof, because I'm going to use this as glue. So I'll place these peppermints on the roof line all the way down. That way you can see that the puffy paint is coming through this, the in between each one of them. Give it that luscious decadent look and look how adorable. Now I'm just taking some more of the puffy paint and I'm putting a little doorknob and I'm going to outline the window also the whole part of the window now I'm taking the straws they were left over from other projects but they haven't happened to fit here perfectly and I'm just going to use a little bit of glue to adhere them onto the very last little peppermints to make them look like lollipops and look how cute this looks this looks so so customized so now here are the little bows that I've just made out of some ribbon from Walmart. And look how cute. It's just like little lollipops holding up the roof. <laughs> Adorable. Now I'm taking another piece of ribbon and I'm just going to make a hanger. So I'm going to adhere it to the very back of the house. And I don't show it, but then I also add some greenery to the bottom of this little house. And here's how it looks. And the closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number two. I'm going to take these two little scoops, they're made out of wood, and I'm just going to take my drill and drill some holes in them both. And these came from Amazon as well. They're a great price. So now I'm taking some of this, it's like a nylon elastic thread that came with the plastic peppermints from Amazon as well. <laughs> and here I'm going to thread one of the peppermints and some of these variety of beads that I happen to have. And I'm just going to string them in this pattern. I think this pattern is pretty cute. Just some red, white, and some brown. Once I have that done, then I remove the needle and I secure the, be the beads in a triple knot like this. Now I'm not liking this thread for the hanger. So I'm taking a piece of Baker's Twine in the color red and white and I'm creating a knot to create a hanger. And then I'm going to stick that inside the bead, the top bead. And once I get it in there, then I'll take my detailed glue gun with the really fine tip and fill the, the hole with the glue. That way everything is nice and secure. So now I'll just kind of like lift it up so that way it'll the glue will set. In the meantime, I'm taking these adorable mini peppermints from Amazon as well. I'm just getting a handful and I'm going to take my regular glue gun and do a nice glob inside the little scoop and I'll just pour all these little peppermints inside and push them down. Look at this, it's so cute. 
And now I'm going to take one of these little gingerbread men. It's in a button. And I'm just going to place that on the center. And look how adorable. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. Now I remove the excess piece of that other elastic thread. And add some more glue inside the bead. That way it makes sure everything is nice and secure. And nothing's going to come apart. But just look how adorable. Now they just need a little bit more embellishing. They need some bows. So I created some more bows out of that same ribbon from Walmart. And here's how it looks. And a closer look at the final reveal. This video is a part of It's Christmas in July, Let's Get Baked. And Sarah from GGB DIY is joining me today. Here is a preview of her channel. She's got tons of gingerbread videos that she did last year and the year before. So definitely check it out when you're done watching my video. Click on the link in my description box. It'll take you to her video today. And enjoy her video and enjoy her channel. She is very talented and let her know that I sent you. For DIY number three, I'm going to begin with one of these fence panels from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove all the twine and everything. And I'm taking my finger sander to sand it up because there's a little bit of splinters. And I'm going to go in with this Home Deco chalk paint in the color white Adirondack, give it a full coat. And now I'm taking some washi tape and I'm creating some diagonal lines with it. And now I'm taking some of the Apple Barrel paint in the color Snow White and I'm going to paint over all of the tape just to keep everything from bleeding because now we're going to go in with some of the red, the flag red from Apple Barrel. And go ahead and paint this whole piece like this. And now it's time to remove all the tape. How satisfying. Look at those clean lines. All because I used the white after I added all the tape. Here I'm realizing I missed some areas. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more washi tape where I missed and some huge gaps here and then I'll just go in with some more of the white of the snow white paint and fix that real quick and now I'm going to take some of this hundred grit sandpaper and kind of rough it up a little bit because it is a fence can't be too perfect and now I'm going to take two of these gingerbread men that I created on my last video and I'll do a quick video up above so you guys can see how I made it and just in case you guys missed it now I'm going to add some bows made out of the baker's twine and i'll do a little bow on the top for the girl on her head and a little bow tie for the little boy's neck so now here i'm trying to find placement because i want these little gingerbread people to be looking up on the fence like they climbed up so i'm just going to adhere the little girl on the right and i'll put the little boy on the left and i want everything to look good on both sides so see on the back you'll just see their their backs and the back of the fence and now I'm taking some of this plastic ivy vine and this is also from Amazon and I'm just doing a little dab of glue this will be the hanger and I'm doing it in this manner that way it helps to hold the little figures because since they are just wrapping paper and faux leather they're a little bit flimsy so I just wanted something to help hold them up and this works perfectly so here's here's how they look look how cute so now i want to go ahead and do some more of this embellishing with some of this ivy and i'm just going to go through through the panels in this manner just no no particular way i'm just trying to decorate it a little bit and then i do the remainder around the very bottom just go around the whole piece and when i flip it over you'll see it'll look just as cute as the front look how adorable like the vine is just growing wild on the fence panel and names could be added to it later. And here's how it looks in the closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number four, I'm going to take this home sweet home calendar piece from the Dollar Tree. And I like the fact that the blocks are already in the brown with some white, so I'm going to leave those at as is. And I'm going to remove the backing, peel off all the paper, peels off pretty easily. And I'm going to go in with some of the white chalk paint and I'm going to take the same scrapbooking paper that I used earlier and I'm going to cut off these two pieces. Oh, the other little piece that you see here is from one of the Dollar Tree crates, one of the sides, because I like taking those apart. So here I'm adding the scrapbooking paper and removing all the excess with my finger sander as well. And now I'm going to start putting everything together, taking the little box, placing it on the little piece of the crate. 
the little extra piece that I had from taking apart crates. <laughs> yeah, I do that. <laughs> and I'll put a picture up here of something I made with taking apart crates. So now I'm just going to adhere this back piece back on to the little, the little box, the little rectangle like this. And since this is going to be an ornament, we have to do a hanger, of course. So I'm just taking this nice chunky piece of ribbon that I just happen to have left over and secure it with some hot glue. While that sets, I'm taking some of these plastic candy canes from Amazon and I'm just going to embellish the sides of this little box like this to make it look super cute. Well, this is going to be a calendar again, but it'll be a calendar ornament. Yeah. So now here it's nice and set and I'm placing the hanger on the back. Make sure it's nice and secure. And now I'm putting all the little blocks back in, putting it for July 15th, which is today. And now I'm taking some more of these cute little gingerbread people that I made. And I'm going to adhere them together like they're holding hands. And I'll secure these to the back of this calendar backing. Like this. Look how adorable. And the kiddos would have fun changing up the dates. And here's how it looks. And the closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number five, I'm going to take these wooden candy canes. These came from Amazon. And I'm going to go in with the apple barrel paint in the color flag red. And I'm going to take this piece of fabric, add Mod Podge to these candy canes to place them on the fabric. And if you guys watched my last video, I did this with some of the gingerbread men, some of the wooden gingerbread men. Once it's dry, I flipped it over and I added some more Mod Podge. That way it's nice and secure. Now once that's dry, I'm taking this, putting it on a cutting mat and taking my X-Acto knife and cutting these out as best I can. Now if this doesn't work for you, you can also use detail scissors. That works just as well. So then here they're all nice and cut out. So now I'm going to take some of my Baker's Twine, creating a nice little loop for a hanger and I'm just going to adhere it with a little bit of glue, press it down, hold it down till it sets and now I'll place another candy cane right on top so they're back to back and that way they are a full ornament full on both sides and just in case they get flipped around, yeah, they'll look cute. So now I'm going to go in with some more of these tiny little buttons, these little gingerbread buttons and I do add a little bit of greenery to the sides of the gingerbread men and here's how they look and the closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number six, I am taking one of these truck plaques made out of wood from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go in with the apple barrel paint in the color nutmeg brown of course on both sides and I'll go in with some of this apple barrel paint in the color flag red and do the fenders and a couple other accents until it looks like this. And now I'm taking a ballpoint pen and just creating a tire form that's a little bit more proportioned on both sides because these tires were a little bit odd shaped. <laughs> and I'll show you here, you guys can see. Now I'm going to go in with that same puffy paint and I'm just going to outline the wheels, the tires, actually the whole truck. I don't show it all, but yeah, I'm going to do the whole, the whole truck. And here's the wheel, everything. And I'm just placing a nice glob of this paint and using it for my peppermint wheels. Now that I have everything nice and painted, I had five more of these little gingerbread men. And guess what? I have five grandkids. So these are going to represent my grandkids. This little one is my three-year-old. And then I have two four-year-olds. They go right beside him like this. And then I'll do the five-year-old right behind or between the three-year-old and one of the four-year-olds. I'll place him back here. Look how cute. <laughs> and I want to make sure this looks cute on the back too. Even if it's just brown, I want to make sure that it looks nice. And then the last one is my granddaughter. She's nine. So she gets to be the driver. <laughs> what a privilege. <laughs> so I'll place her in the driver's seat. And now I'm going to embellish them with some of the Baker's Twine bows. And so I'll add a nice big one for my granddaughter on her head. 
and some little bow ties for all the boys. Look how cute. Okay, so now I'm going to take some more of these plastic peppermints and embellishing the truck bed. Or should I say the wagon part? Look how cute. They fit in there perfectly. Five in a row. One for each kid. Yeah, how about that? And now I'm going to use some more of the baker's twine for the hanger because, again, this is an ornament. And you might be thinking this is a little bit large for an ornament. But yeah, they have large ornaments too. I used them last year. And here I'm just adding a couple of beads to help hold all this thin baker's twine in place. And I do the same thing to the other side. And I just add another bead. And I'll secure it with a little dab of glue. Now here I'm also going to do a dab of glue on the back of this head. That way it keeps that baker's twine in place. And it also helps hold them up. And I don't show it but I added a couple of bows because I just had to. But look how adorable. Here's how they look. And a closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number 7. I'm taking this used canning lid that I was about to throw away, but it was so cute with that gingham pattern. So I took my crocodile, created a hole, and now I'm taking some of this baker's twine, creating a loop, and folding it, putting it through the hole, and looping it up to create the hanger, like this. Now I'm taking this jar lid, it's just a random jar lid, and I'm going to add some glue and adhere it to the back of this candy lid. So now I'm going to take two more of these little gingerbread men buttons and I'm going to adhere them to the front of this candy lid. I just think the gingham pattern with gingerbread is so adorable. So cute. So now I'm going to take my puffy paint again and I'm going to go to town and give this a nice full coating and go all the way around and the back as well. Now the back, since it's brown, I'm going to create a little gingerbread head. So I went ahead and did the swirlies around the piece of that lid. And now with my Sharpie paint marker, I'm just creating a little face. And I'm going to use the Apple Barrel white paint and some of the puffy paint as well. And finish his little face. And look how cute. So that way this little ornament is two-sided. So if it gets flipped around, you'll either get the two little gingerbread men buttons or you get this cute little face looking at you <laughs> and then I do add some little bows and here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal for DIY number eight I'm going to take this little container that came with a bunch of buttons because I love using buttons for my my crafts and I'm just going to take a little bit of Mod Podge pour it in there and a little bit of the nutmeg paint as well I'm going to stir everything inside with my bamboo skewer and then I'm going to swirl it around the inside of this little container and don't worry about the part that looks white from the Mod Podge everything dries very nicely here it is nice and dry so now I'm going to create the hanger for this so this time I'm going to use some jute twine and I'll just add a dab of glue hold this down till the glue sets do the other side as, as well the same way Hold it down till it sets. And now to cover that up, I will take a piece of ribbon that I happen to have just a little piece extra. And it happens to go around this jar perfectly. So I'll add some glue, kind of massage the glue so it won't be so bumpy, lumpy. And now I'll go to the back and adhere the other side like this until everything is looking nice and cute and complete. Look how adorable. And of course, gotta add a little bow gotta add some bows place that on the front add a clip to help hold it in the meantime I picked up these cute little plastic utensils from the Dollar Tree in the toy section and here's a little pack of the little gingerbread buttons that I've been using throughout this video and I'm just going to add one to the little spoon and one to the little spatula and then just placing these inside removing my clip and look how cute that is it so super simple so super cute adorable and here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal for DIY number nine I'm going to take this pack of wood stems from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to pick out 
a few that I like. I'm trying to do a graduated cake, kind of like a tiered cake. So here are the pieces that I chose. So I'm just going to adhere everything with some glue, just some hot glue, and these adhere just fine. And now I'm going to take some random pieces of ribbon that I just happen to have lying around, just little pieces and some rickrack. So on the bottom of my cake, I'm going to begin with some rickrack and I'll just place it on the very bottom and go all the way around and adhere it with a little dab of glue. And then I'll continue this with the red rickrack on the next tier, on the bottom of the next tier. Just add a dab of glue, go all the way around and adhere it. And then the next tier will have that thin gingham ribbon that I've been using. And then the last tier will just have a little bit of the baker's twine and I'll just wrap it around a few times just to make it look a little bit more substantial. And that is it. I just secure that end with a little bit of glue. And now I'm realizing there's a bunch of those glue webs everywhere. <laughs> so I'm going to take my heat gun and heat it all up and that removes all those glue webs very nicely. Now I'm just going to add this cute little gingham bow and place it on the top of my little cake. And now for the hanger, I'm going to use one of these little screw on little hanger pieces and they screw on very nicely and they are secure. Look at that, super cute. Here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number 10, I'm going to use these Dr. Seuss erasers and they are in the shape of books. And I'm going to go in with some of the Apple Barrel Painted Color Nutmeg Brown, give them a full coat on their covers. And then I'm just going to adhere them and stack them together. These will be a stacked book ornament. Super cute. And I'm just taking a Cricut marker and I'm just writing how to bake gingerbread in my own messy handwriting. Because I noticed that Cricut, some of the Cricut fonts look just like my messy handwriting. So... <laughs> this is so small why not just write it on there <laughs> save myself a step so now I'm taking some more of this gingham ribbon this really thin ribbon from Walmart and I'm just going to wrap it around my book stack like this super cute and then I'll create a bow with the same ribbon and I'll make sure the tails are nice and long because I want the tails to come hanging down just a little bit past the book stack. So then I'll go ahead and adhere it with a little dab of glue. And I'll also tack the tails down a little bit. That way they're not just flapping around. And you'll see on the bottom how they hang, they'll hang just a little bit further past the books. How adorable. And then for the hanger, I'll use another one of these little hooks. These little screw on hooks. And I'll have everything in my description box for you guys. And you just twist it on there. And this is easier than those wood stems because this is just an eraser. So this goes in really easily. And that is it. Look, super cute. And here's how it looks. And the closer look at the final reveal. Now I have a bonus DIY. I have this banana holder <laughs> that I actually picked up from a thrift store a couple years ago actually. And I went in with the same nutmeg brown paint and some of the puffy paint as well to give it that icing look. And this will be an ornament holder for some of my ornaments. And here's how it looks and the closer look at the final reveal. If you're on Instagram, here's my QR code. I would love for you to follow me there as well as TikTok. And I have a Pinterest. And here are some of my pins. And I also have a Facebook crafting group and I would invite you to come join me there. And now we're at the final reveal. Let me know what you guys think.
But I'd like to take a moment and thank Sarah from Jujube DIY for collaborating with me once again. We both enjoyed doing the gingerbread theme and I can't wait to watch your video. So when you're done watching this video, please head on over to my description box, click the link to her video, and also she has a playlist full of gingerbread inspiration. You can also watch that and just enjoy her channel. She is so talented and she is just fantastic. And we are actually collaborating one more time for Christmas in July at the end of this month on the 26th and we'll be doing more gingerbread DIYs but in pastel colors. So that's going to be interesting <laughs> and fun. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you want to see more, definitely subscribe. And until my next video, which I mentioned is, will be on the 26th of July with pastel gingerbread DIYs. Stay healthy, safe, and strong and have a great, great day. Bye-bye.